Welcome back people, we've got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today, doing missions. Nerahin Exploration 2, I hope I'm saying that right. We did Exploration 1, this is Exploration 2. So let's get this on the way, I've tracked the mission, we've got to get carp, flathead, catfish and long nosed gar. So we should technically be able to get that pretty quick, there's only three fish we've got to catch. So I've put on some different baits, we're going to, I had some luck over here. Um... When I was playing PS4, I remember, because I'm on PC account at the minute, I remember playing over there and I caught some carp over this way, around here. So I'm going to just randomly cast, um, I don't know how far, I guess that far. <laughs> Alright, yeah, okay, let's keep it about, let's say 100 foot, so that way it makes it a bit more easier for you guys to understand. So you can use all different types of baits for this to get the carp, but at the same time as getting the carp, I'm also hoping to get the flathead catfish as well so that's why i'm putting on some medium cut bait and then shiners they're going to be for the long nose gar i don't know if i'm going to get the long nose gar from this location we might have to move location for that but we'll see what happens let's get our first fish here that was pretty quick oh wow okay that one's actually a pretty pretty decent size maybe if you maybe if you're doing this mission and you ain't got the same rods as me maybe use small cut bait rather than medium cut bait because otherwise you'll get a bigger fish you might not be able to reel it in but there we go to start off with the flat whiskered uh flat whiskered oh my gosh flathead catfish it's early hours in the morning it's like 6 a.m i haven't been asleep so I might not sound completely normal. <laughs> you have to bear with me. All right. So actually, I didn't really need to cast that back out now, the medium one. Because now I'm going to go for the common carp. So for the common carp, I'm going to use, not that. I'm also going to try peas as well. I feel like peas is going to work because I know that peas work for catching carp. So peas, sweet corn, um, or just normal corn or sweet peas. Either one of those should work. What do I have on here? Okay, I got shiners. Let me change that. Um, let's put on some normal corn. If I have normal corn, I'm sure I do. Did I go past it? There it is. Normal corn. Just corn. <clears throat> so again, yeah, about a hundred foot. This one's the float rod. Okay, so we live stream. We when we live stream, we use face cam and mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just hit record. They always turn out to be the best videos I've ever made. This is um, just quicker for me to hit record rather than me setting up the face cam and everything. For me, just to hit record and use a mic just to explain to you certain things is a lot easier. But uh, yeah, so we spawned in um, from exploration. We did exploration one. I'm straight into exploration two now right where that car is uh really i should actually let me just um oh we got some interest on that float rod and that rod i should really show you exactly where we are i think you know i think i, I did kind of show it briefly but we'll show it again anyway okay so dough balls that might get carp as well let's see it's not what we need that's a bluegill where the float rods going let's get the float rod so if you are interested in Fish and Planet, it's a good reason to subscribe, turn notifications on. Make sure you hit all when you hit the notification bell because there is loads and loads of updates for Fish and Planet. And every time them updates come out, I download just as it's about to install. I set up a live stream. We show new lakes, new rods, new reels, new tackle, new gear. We show how and where to catch certain fish, unique fish, all of that good stuff that you guys want to see we show it so yeah good reason to subscribe make sure you drop a like in the video if it did help you out in any sort of way as well so there we have it there's our carp that we needed so now we need a long nosed gar i remember where i caught that roughly so we're going to head over to a new location now let me just pick up my gear and i'll show you whereabouts we are on this where we just caught these two fish that was pretty quick i haven't actually put an edit into it yet if i'm lucky i might not have to edit this video I say that every time and yet I still have to. <laughs> you can get lucky though. Alright, so um, on the map, as you can see, my guy is just here. This is where we, we click there, which is the great parking job. You spawn in and you'll see this truck. And then, yeah, just get set up here. Cast out there to about 100 foot, just like I did. Works great. So now we're going to move over to this location. 
which is over on the far right now, which is called Woody Enchantment. Now, I'm pretty sure this is where I caught it. If I didn't catch it here, I can always um, I can always put a cut and an edit into it and show you if I move location. But we get set up, we get fishing, and we see if we get any interest at all. <clears throat> so for the long-nosed gar, you're probably better off using shiners or... What else could you use? You could use small minnows, so that would work. Shiners on there, and let's put shiners on there again. And then shiners on that one. And then you could probably use some crawfish, or some crawfish cut as well. That would probably get you some. So I'm just going to put a few different baits on there. Mainly the shiners, I think, is going to be the goal. So I think it was about there, near them lily pads, if I'm correct. I might have forgotten, but we'll see. If we get it, we get it. If we don't... And then I'll edit the video and add a bit on. <clears throat> so using a couple of different hook sizes as well. Some two, some three, some hook number one. It doesn't matter about the size of the hook, uh, to be honest. You don't want a really, really big hook if you're using light gear. If, you don't have a, if you're not using the same rod as me, and then you probably are better off using a one or a two hook. Um, hash one or a hash... Well, hash one slash zero, or a hash two slash zero. Yes, that's what you're better off using, to be honest, just because your your gear might not be able to handle it if you're not using the same as mine. You probably don't need a rod as strong as mine, but if you've got low end gear, some of them gars, I think they go up to about nine nine pounds ish, something like that. So they can be they can be a little bit of a fight to reel in. Okay, let me get this one out. So using a hash free on there. I'm just going to fish here for a little bit. And we'll see what happens. And uh, if we get some interest. And then, yeah, so I'm going to fish here. If, if I get some interest, I'll bring you guys back here. If I move location, obviously I will show that location and tell you that I've moved location. So I'll bring you guys back when we get the last fish on. Okay, this is on the shiners. Hash one hook, so it might not be a very big fish, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's a long nosed gar. It could also be a smallmouth bass. I've had a few of those. Oh, it is a long nosed gar. There you go. That's what we needed. It didn't need to be big, it just needed to be a gar. And that is it. There we go. Neherin. Oh gosh, I think I'm saying that wrong. Exploration 2. 1,500 cash. One more bait coin. And we got some hooks, hash 5 slash 0. Some people call it 5-op hook, which is probably the better way to say it. But I always say hash, hash 5 slash 0. I've just said that forever, so it's kind of stuck with me. So there we go. That's that mission complete. So I'm going to set a marker real quick just for that one. Um, not that I ever need to catch that fish ever again, but just to show you specifically where I actually caught that fish. So this is where we are. As you can see there. That's me, and then, yeah, we, right there. So, again, showing you on the map here as well. This is where we are, over on the very far right there. Picture of the little guy, and then casting to just there. So I'm going to cast this one, show you how far it is to cast it, just so that way you see. So that's 126 foot. There's my marker. When you spawn in, you're spawning up here. And you'll see those two, these two logs here. So just come over to the left a little bit. I think, yeah, 126 foot just there. Use a hash one hook if you don't have strong gear, then that way you'll be able to bring it in. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Any comments, leave it below. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.